Here we are in Scunthorpe. We did all the external cleaning and the weed killing about three weeks ago now. It's been really bad weather, so we're here today to clean the block paving. Right, Mel's just, just while we're waiting for the water tub to fill up, Mel's just getting a bit of the top moss out. We have two machines here. We have an ice vac, which sucks up the water, and we have a pipe going into the drain, but so no solids go into the drain because there's nowhere here for the water to discharge to. We have another vac here, another ice vac. This one has a design which I made myself because I couldn't find one anywhere. Inside I've made a filtration system where the solids go into the drum there in the middle and then the pipe I made sucks up the surplus water which is just dirty water and then that gets sucked up by the other vacuum which comes out then and the other solids stay in that vacuum the ISO one and then the dirty water then basically just goes here into that drain generally if there's areas of grass or pebbles which belong to the owner we will then discharge the water there and it will soak in so we've got that to do side of the house which is here going into the back got all this to do water going into the tank it's not far off full which is good generally as a rule by the time we fill up this water bin we're all ready to go the hose reel is from v tough in lincoln we use a Fals hot box we use a rutland pumps 13 horsepower pressure washer honda and we also use a honda 13 horsepower generator which powers a hot box and the two vacuums in the front garden various hoses and pipes it's a big setup doing all this lot right we'll see how we get on nearly cleaned the front it's just swelling down but we have run out of water the water pressure is so slow it's starting to look nice though but it's just a shame now because it's taking about half an hour to 40 minutes to fill up the water but Waiting for water again. We're already about an hour and a half behind because we're waiting for water. It's just so slow. Because oh. this machine uses a lot of water, it's 15 litres a minute. The tap doesn't give us enough water, so you have to supplement it from this tank. Well, it's a wheelie bin. We have two pipes here. The clear pipes what suck up the water and circulate it round to keep the motor and everything cool the other line goes to the hot box the water goes in the hot box heats up and comes out to the lance but that's how fuels, that works the fuel in these machines you use loads the falsch hot box if we're doing a drive you can easily spend 120 a day probably in fuel just on that one machine to get to work to the heat 
150 degrees. That pressure, um, the generator probably uses maybe on a full day 10 to 15 pound, probably near 15. Same as a pressure washer, about 15 quid. So you probably, I don't know, doing it this way, easily 150 pound in fuel upwards. The two vacs, I keep cleaning the filter out. So just waiting for water. I think we're going to be about another half an hour waiting for water. Hello, Sean, GWS. We're back to this drive. We started about three weeks ago. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to put Dan sand, it's a grey Dan sand in, and then we're going to apply a biocide. You'll see how we do it. We did steam clean this a few days ago. We're going to put a mask on, and the Dan sand it is a grey one, and we have to travel to Grimsby to get this. You can't get it from Scunthorpe. We have brushed the dan sand in now what we're going to do we're going to put the biocide on we use algo clear pro biocide it's a pro version and we use the green box there the dosatron which does it this does all the mixing for us so we don't have to worry about anything the box is from dose demon they supply it and i'm wearing the airstream helmet just for when you spray it because it is a bit windy just so I don't get any in my face
Thank you for watching, Sean and Mel.